Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general message today for the sign of Virgo. Wherever that resonates at for you and your birth chart, keep in mind that we all do have a sixth house as part of our birth chart and time and energy are also very fluid. So take what resonates here today, leave the rest for someone else. And these readings are timeless as well. So whenever you find yourself here, there will be a message here for you to help bring you clarity and confirmation, to help empower you, to help us align, really, um, with our highest timelines as we move collectively through this portal. One sec, Virgo. Tapping into the energy today, I use this illuminated Earth Oracle deck along with this Shaman's Dream Oracle deck just to help uh, catch the vibe. It's almost like seeing a snapshot of the energy here. Um, and this truly feels like it's it. It really feels like, and the messages have been so major lately, collectively for every sign. Um, but there's something here, Virgo. It's like, this is it. This is really it. What I see kind of playing playing out here, and we'll run through the cards as well, and you can open up and see what comes through for you as well. And always feel free to drop that down in the comments. Um, I love being able to see through y'all lens and kind of everybody's downloads. It just makes it, it, it adds a whole other layer dimension to these readings. So thank you for all of you who do take the time to do that and uh, be here. The world, reality, right now, is a mirror. Reality is a mirror of our soul. First hermetic principle, law, whatever. All is mental, right? All is mind. That means that everything that we experience, um, whether we perceive it to be quote-unquote inside of ourselves or outside of ourselves, is actually happening in the mind, right? Um, there's a lot of clarity. Okay, so let's just run through these, right? First we have attachment and erosion. First two cards to come through. This represents these very long standing attachments, addictions, thought patterns, generational, um, ancestral things, self-limiting beliefs, um, all of the things, right? And it's literally, it's different for every last one of us. But if you just look at this erosion card, right? With the moon, what, what, the water, it's the water that erodes the rock. Think about how long it would take for this water to cut through and create this, what is it, a canyon? What emotions have ran through your reality, your ancestors' reality? What thought patterns, what dynamics, right, have ran through and basically carved their way into reality as we know it, right? The reincarnation card coming next and potential, right? So there is a portal opening right now, family to truly break the simulation, to truly jump timelines um, into a new world where we are in co-creation with the divine consciously, right? So we have adaptability, we have the dust devil with moving out of stagnation, and we have this magician's sword, confidence in your magic. But what I see here is these dust devils, these energies, these shakeups, these happenings are popping up in our reality right now to be seen. This is your sword of truth. This is your sword of understanding and clarity collective. This is the sword that cuts these strings, these chains that bind us, right? And so with this adaptability energy, this is kind of like the divine saying, hey, stay woke right now. Be aware, right? And as I woke up this morning, a perfect example of this energy played out in real time. Um, I don't think we're gonna get into that right now, but the, the thing here is 
pay attention, cultivate some awareness, use the tools that you have in the tool shed that you've gained along your journey to continue moving through this energy. Meditation, cultivating stillness, cultivating awareness, um, and truly looking beneath the surface at this time at what our reality, your reality, is trying to tell us slash you um, at this time because this is it, family. I'm gonna pray real quick. Um, and we'll dive into this message. I'm going to start with this double major to grab the theme of today's message for the Virgo Collective, for the Virgo placements. On the bottom of the deck, though, we have this page of wands playing right into this energy, right? This is curiosity. This is wonder. This is an opportunity for spiritual growth. This is being a beginner. This is being open. Um, so this is kind of like um being a student again as we move into the, move through this portal we drop we drop the notions we drop all of it we drop we break it and we we just we just look at it what is it really right without the words underneath the words tower there's so much being cleared right now family holy divine source creator Great spirit, spirit guides, guardian angels, archangels, ancestors, messages for the Virgo Collective and Virgo placements today for our highest good. Anything we need to hear or know, any messages that will bring us clarity and confirmation, any messages that will empower us, any messages that will bring healing, wisdom, understanding, any messages that will help the collective align with their highest selves, their highest timelines their best lives, and of course, above all of that, any messages that will help the collective align with the highest divine will for our lives and journeys would be truly appreciated. All praise and glory to the Most High forever and ever. Hang man, there it is, right? It's that different perspective. Seeing it completely differently. So this is it. This is the portal we step through and we say, okay, if everything I am experiencing is me, what is it telling me? What is it showing me? What is it reflecting back within me? This is where we get in it. We get in it, family, and trust that we're being guided someplace better, right? Hanged man is what it is today. So what's the message? What do we have going on for Virgo? This is Piscean energy. It is also the opposite sign on the opposite end of the axis of Virgo. Um, so there's something in that as well. Much, much more free flowing. Um, Piscean energy is very free flowing, very kind of just going with it. So what's going on with Virgo, please, Spirit? What's Virgo's energy right now at the heart of this message? Nine of Cups, I'm telling y'all, Devil Tower. <laughs> Devil Tower, Nine of Cups. It's it, There's there's no words, y'all. I'm at a loss of words. I wish um, Eight of Wands to the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Spears in this, in this um, deck. So everything we just said, right? The Tower and the Devil is anything coming, everything and anything coming up to the surface that is holding us back, that is hindering our growth. Um, anything that we're really meant to grow through and understand more deeply on these journeys is going to be coming up in some way at this time. How does that happen? It comes up internally and it comes up externally. And with all of this Aries energy playing out right now, it's going to be natural reaction to just react, to want to just go for it. This is the energy that I'm speaking of where it's like, pause pump the brakes, step back, right, at this time, because there's something deeper here. Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Nine of Cups is an opportunity and a doorway to move into wish fulfillment. And this is so much deeper than just wish fulfillment, right? This is your celestial ancestral inheritance. This is what our souls came here to do. Virgo. So what is crossing Virgo right now, please, Spirit? Tower in the devil. What's cross and this is what's helping, what's hindering, what energies are crossing Virgo right now, Spirit. Six of Swords. Worst of the storm is over. Being guided to calmer waters. 
what's going on inside here. Four of Swords. So meditation, stillness, awareness, creating distance, cultivating stillness in internally, externally, um, cleaning house internally, externally, diet, home, yard, mind, mind, body, spirit. All these pages, page of wands, page of spears again. So we have all this page of pentacles energy. Very simple terms. This is a new life. We have the page of wands twice, the page of pentacles twice. It's just now hitting me. Um, and so it, it is. It's an opportunity for a new life to come into alignment with your spirit, to come into alignment with your soul, with um, this destiny, with this higher timeline, with this new life. And the way that it's been kind of coming through is like spirit's been showing me the life that we have been living has not been our life. Us as an individual soul, as an individual point in this conscious awareness. We've been living our ancestors and, and, and communities and cultures, karma and lives and programming. That is all breaking down and being exposed at this time. And it's up to us to choose, right? Which way are we going to go? The scary way is an indicator that it's something new, it's out of your comfort zone, right? So what scares you? We have the Page of Cups at the bottom as well, and that's been a message coming through from the divine, the world, like it's so much, what we have planned for you, this is from the divine, what we have planned for you is so much bigger than you can imagine. It's so much beyond the limitations of our societal conditioning and cultural programming and ancestral baggage. There is nowhere to be right now. Collective, there is nowhere to be. Six of Pentacles strength. This is two of pentacles, right? Together, that's the eight of pentacles. This is all about self-work, self-love, self-mastery. This is all about building yourself, building your life, mastering your craft, getting things in order, right? This is you bringing a whole new world into existence through co-creation with the divine. Very, very fulfilling. An opportunity to truly be fulfilled from the deepest parts of your being. Where's this stemming from spirit? Showing me the world again. The sun. And so it's an awakening. It's a it's a ascending ascension. It is a rising of consciousness to bring people into their sovereign power and alignment with their inner divinity. Shh. <laughs> You guys, I'm telling you, there's my words are not cutting it. I hope y'all can feel it. I know y'all can feel it. Really, really take care of yourselves at this time, y'all, with these solar storms and with all of the things, right? Diet is very important. Breath is very important. Stretching movement is very important. Um, and also stillness is very important. We live, we exist within a paradox family. Find that middle way. What's incoming for Virgo? Sheesh, the moon. Can't see it. Damn, the Six of Cups. This is like a Nine of Pentacles. I'm, I'm telling you, this is the celestial gates of your ancestral inheritance opening for you. This is long-standing cycles, uh, demons, curses, call them what you want, being overcome. This is David murking Goliath. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, right? And this is you open and enjoying your victory. Your blessings, Ten of Cups, your happiness, your fulfillment, your legacy. Y'all, this is crazy. Page of Swords, but it's, it's, it's this energy of being a student. It's this energy of being open, of being curious, of learning, of not knowing. Of not knowing and being open to being taught, right? The Nine of Pentacles is the Garden of Eden family judgment. It's it's the release of an old world and everything that came with it 
is being released. You are taking your power back, Virgo, in a big way, and there is a new world being birthed through you at this time. Empress is all about self-love, self-care. Um, <clears throat> wow. What is the advice for Virgo? The spirit. The chariot. And so it is, the emperor. The seven of swords on the bottom right now in spirits telling me to pause because there's a message here that the enemy, the ego, these energies are very subtle, very sneaky, very slick, sometimes hard to catch. Like I said, especially with all this Aries energy, like somebody says something and without even thinking, we just, we just naturally, right? And so it's very, very important to cultivate that space, focusing on the breath. Um, I always tell people doing the Wim Hof method, doing the three rounds of the Wim Hof method automatically taps you into your spirit. It, it blows the mind outside for a minute so you can be in your awareness. Um, if you can cultivate that practice steadily every day, once a day even, it will change your entire existence. It will change your inner world and then your external world will follow. Chariot, emperor. It's always the emperor or the empress in the chariot. This is, at the deepest level, divine alignment with the soul's destined will. Stepping into your power and aligning with your truest, most full, authentic expression of yourself here. What is the advice? So the emperor in the chariot, if that's your advice, it's like, let's, let's go. The fool, trust. Step through this portal. There's that wonder again. There's that clean slate. What's the advice here? Zero, four, seven. We have source. We have source here. We have stability. We have structure. We have a foundation. Four of wands and a portal. Temperance. That's the middle way. Climbing this stairway to heaven. Magician. Your thoughts, your thoughts and words are extremely powerful at this time. Magician, Empress, um, speaking, claiming, affirming, you know, positive affirmations, um, continuing to stay rooted in love as best you can to evoke that feeling of gratitude and love, Virgo, of inner power, of not backing down, of being, being ready, Virgo. This is like Emperor Cherry is like, oh yeah, I remember this, what I came here for, period. I was dripping for a minute. I fell asleep. I remember. I remember. This is why I came here, right? I'm so there's also this this deep spiritual awakening or this balance between masculine and feminine, between mind and heart, between body and spirit. There's this deep divine alignment happening happening now for the virgo collective and placements whoever is watching magician sword with the magician though you guys i'm telling you your prayers your sigils your um vision boards your affirmations it is all so powerful at this time anything else for advice for virgo please spirit they're bringing me right into this number 11 meditation and stillness and what did they throw out Eight of Pentacles, Four of Cups, stay focused, family, no rose-colored glasses, okay? Everything is divine and in divine alignment, and everybody that is here right now is right where they need to be. Let's grab some Oracle cards. Actually, hold up. We're going to read this um, meditation in stillness. Where are we at on time? When the deep quiet appears, it's a message from the cosmos calling you to stillness. To step outside the concerns of your everyday life. This does not mean to slow down and take a breath 
although that's a good start. The cosmos is inviting you to go deep to that place where the noise stops and there's only the vast emptiness of inner space. When we do not respond to the invitation offered by deep quiet, life can stop us in our tracks with an illness or crisis. Listen to that still small voice. Remember that you want to catch spirit on a whisper, not a shout. And it's only human to argue that you're too busy to slow down and that you don't have the time, the inclination, or the money for a retreat. Do not let any of those reasons get the better of you, Virgo. Stop the world and enter the deep quiet before you come to a crashing halt. That Now they're showing me this Piscean energy again, and that's very much um, this. I don't have time. I can't do this. I can't do that. Um, this is where the Virgo slides back into the Pisces and says, screw it. That's what's coming from up above. Then fuck, I'm going to the spa today. I'm going to get a massage. I'm going to run this salt bath. I'm going to go make a fruit salad and take a walk. I'm going to go sit by the water, right? Um, embrace the inner Pisces. After you have said yes to this invitation, you'll find that the world can get along quite well without the need for you to manage it. You will enjoy the freedom that comes with stillness, the clarity and spaciousness offered by the silence. And not to mention everything clicking and making sense as you step into awareness and really look into the reflection, into what our reality is telling us at this time. And always remember the ego is always going to try to defend itself. On the other side of that coin, let's not forget that the ego is an illusion. It is a bundle of programs and conditions with a name slapped, stamped on top of it. You're none of that. You are none of that. So when you get triggered, that's a perfect, that's a wide open doorway, Virgo, to step through and say, what is this even coming from? If this person, this ego doesn't exist, I'm a spirit. I don't have a name. I don't speak English. I don't have a gender. So why is this bundle of karma getting offended? Why is this bundle of karma getting triggered? And where's that coming from? And dive into that space, family. You will become enlightened. You will become enlightened. Like I said, it's slick. It is slick and it is subtle. And, you know, it's really, its main function is to keep us from obtaining our birthright. But guess what? It is time, family. That's a message for Virgo. Okay, so bottom, this has been kind of a theme too. Root chakra coming through on the bottom. Keep your root chakra balanced. Eat stuff straight from the earth. Root vegetables, um, fruits, lots of water. Get out in nature. When you go in nature to ground, shoes and socks off, get outside, feet on the dirt, on the grass. Use your emotions, use your feelers, your spidey senses. Shut the mind off and go into the body. And as you walk, wait till you get to a spot that feels right. Your body will tell you, no, this is it. Sit there, chill, let we are cells of this body, of Mother Earth. We've become so separate inside of our little houses and our dwellings and our groups and our um, human stuff, right? This is our body. The Earth is our body. We need to get back connected to us, to our real self, to reality, family. So I hope this message helped. I'm going to read this Svadhyaya card. Um, the messages have been coming through much more... A lot differently as of late spirit has a much more serious tone and energy um, crunch time energy family so I hope you're able to take something from this message I hope it resonates I hope um, I hope that shadow is not you know keeping too many of my beautiful family members hostage at this time right it's our time to break free it is our time to break free, and we are all just walking each other home. Family, if you're here, you already know why you're here. You already know what it is, so let's go.
Yo, Virgo, number 89. Thank you all for being here too. It's a rainy, gloomy day over here, family. I always appreciate you. The love and support is truly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. Feels good to have family <laughs> to walk with or kind of get tossed around rather in the midst of the storm with rather than doing it dolo like I'm sure most of us have had to do a lot. So I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. This is the time to retreat and draw back into yourself. Letting go of any crutches you've used in the past to make you feel good. Chocolate, coffee, social media, TV shows. Pratyahara translates as to withdraw oneself from that which nourishes the senses. Through releasing attachment to sensorial distractions, we move closer to self-realization and eventually inner peace. What have you been holding on to to distract yourself? Perhaps it's food or material possessions or surrounding yourself with people. Let go of all that so you can realize all that you truly are. are you? Virgo, who are you? I know that seems like a silly question, but really stop for a minute. Have you ever thought about it and really looked into it? And whether you have or haven't, um, the homework today, I guess we're getting homework, is to inquire into who you are. This has always been what spirit has been teaching through this platform, but it seems to be coming through very, very strongly. Again, almost like a more serious note. Who are you? It may sound like an abrupt question, but it's one you should be asking yourself every single day. When we do not ask ourselves who we are, we take on versions of ourselves that other people sized us for. In truth, you are not your personality. That is temporary and ever-changing, a facade you use to interact with the outside world. This is the time to go deeper into... This is the time to go deeper into the very nature of the self. The self is beyond personality quizzes or even doshas. The self is the infinite soul one that exists across experiences, bodies, personalities, and even lifetimes. Regain touch with this deep-seated self by doing things that make you forget who you are. Meditate, dance, chant mantras, spend time immersed in nature, move past your mind. You will notice that your personality quickly shifts and anchors into your truth when you are reunited with your soul. What a powerful message, right? Let go. Virgo, I know it's the hardest thing we are ever gonna, going to do. Please know that I'm I'm right here rolling with you. I got an oar in my hand too, my babies. I'm a Virgo rising myself. I have a Virgo south node. I have a sixth house north node. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm Virgo in over here too. Um, so let, let the shit go. I promise you will not regret it. I promise that little inner Virgo um, I can feel the Virgo ego is contracting. Um, it's not you. It's not you. It's a program family. I love you. You are divine. You are omnipresent, omnipotent. You are all that you can see, perceive, and not see or perceive. Um, you are the Alpha and the Omega. You are me. I am you. Your soul is waking up and that deep inner part of your soul manifests right here into this thing that is called chucho that's telling you, hey, you are fucking divine. Look inside. Um, I am you. I'm your soul. You manifested me here. I do not exist outside of you. I love you. Let's grab a message from Ma. That's another thing. What do you see in me? 
are you just projecting it onto me or do you realize that what you see in me is actually you whether it's good bad and especially if it's ugly especially if it's ugly let's not forget you don't know me so anything you think about me is coming from in you why where come on what's the message for Virgo Keep this. It takes strength of spirit not to override your inner knowing with social pressures or an inhumane expectation for constant performance. Trust in the shifting cycles to give yourself what you need for well-being because no being benefits when you're at odds with yourself. You have the inner power and capacity to be at peace within your being right now. Thank you, Ma. A process of profound and enduring transformation is leading you toward a powerful rebirth. Free from even the most persistent patterns and pains of your past. Your soul is in deep healing and recovery can be painful, but you will emerge renewed and released. We are blessed to experience a quote-unquote new life during this lifetime family that's the message spirit has for us today again i hope you're able to take something from it um if you're still here just know you want it you want it let's go um before we tap out fully y'all know the drill we're gonna take a second to take a deep cleansing breath we we'll use our will our imagination our visualization to draw from the space this divine cosmic energy pictured as white or gold light Bring it into your body, bring it into your aura as you're inhaling, deep as you can. Pause, hold the breath at the top. Watch yourself glowing as bright as you can. Like to use my mental space to lock all of that energy in my heart space and let that light radiate out through my aura and into the space around me. Then as we release, we exhale as forcefully as we can, watching any negativity, blockage, lower frequency, sadness, anger, blah, 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 blah. Watch it all leaving you in the form of black or gray, smoke or static. You don't even know, have to know what it is specifically. Just use your will, use your mental space, any blockages, any resentment, any anger. Push that shit out. Picture it as black or gray, smoke, leaving your body so the divine can help us transmute that. And we can glow about our day. Family, first things first, we're going to take a deep, full breath out. Completely empty your lungs and then we'll get this breath in. Go ahead, breathe out. Empty, empty, empty. Now breathe in. Hold it. Squeeze Mulabunda. Lift up on your perineum. Raise that energy up your spine. Now pull it down. Lock it into your heart space. And imagine yourself glowing as bright as you can. Now release. Gang, gang. Virgo. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you. I appreciate you. And I will catch you beautiful beings on the next message.